welcome back to my channel today i want to share some of the most important advices that changed my scientific career these insights come from Stephen Weinberg's four golden lessons an article he published in 2003 issue of nature the insights from these articles changed my perspective of science and they might just change yours too. Steven Weinberg was a renowned theoretical physicist who made groundbreaking contribution to improve our understanding of the universe. And he got the Nobel Prize in physics in 1979 for his work on electroweak unification theory. Let me ask you something before I start. Have you ever felt overwhelmed before you start your research or any project? Like there's too much to learn or Maybe you have wondered whether your work uh, really matters in the grand scheme of things. Well, you're not alone. I have been there too. And that's exactly why Weinberg's uh, lessons resonated with me so deeply. So let's explore these golden lessons together. Lesson number one, you don't need to know everything. You are starting a project or research and you want to know everything that has been done before you can start. It's overwhelming, right? Uh, even for Weinberg, he writes, and I can quote, when I received my undergraduate degree about a hundred years ago, the physics literature seemed to me a vast unexplored ocean, every part of which I had to chart before beginning um, any research of my own. Sound familiar? I bet many of you have felt the same way, but here's what Weinberg learned and he's teaching us. He says, no one knows everything and you don't have to. So when Weinberg started his PhD, his mentors pushed him to start research projects despite his anxieties of not knowing much. And guess what? It worked. He finished his PhD quickly, even though he felt that he knew nothing about physics by the time he finished his PhD. So here's my challenge to you. Start your project that you have been putting off or jump into that research that you're very passionate about. Remember, it's about learning how to swim, not knowing the entire ocean. Lesson number two, aim for rough waters. Now let's talk about the comfort zone. We all love them, right? Uh, they are cozy, they're predictable, they are safe. But in science and in life, that's not where the magic happens. Weinberg shares an anecdote about a student who wanted to study general relativity, and this is uh, back in 1960, because the principles of general relativity were quite well known by that time. Unlike, unlike particle physics, which was quite messy. What was Weinberg's response? He said, this is exactly why you should do physics, particle physics. He says, and I quote here, go for the masses. That's where the action is. Think about it. If you know, particle physics in 1960 was a complete mess, but that mess led to the discovery of standard model of particle physics, one of the most profound discoveries in physics. So here's my question. What's the mess in your field? What are those problems that people think are too complicated or too confusing? That's where you should be looking. That's where you can make the next break. Lesson number three, forgive yourself for wasting time. Okay, so this lesson really hit me hard and I bet it will resonate with uh, many of you too. Weinberg tells us, you will never be sure which are the right problems to work on. So in school, we are giving the problems with known solutions, but in real life, it's nothing like that. You might spend months or years uh, working on some problem only to find out that uh, you took the wrong approach. Weinberg gives us a great example. In the early 20th century, uh, scientists were trying to build a theory of the electron. Uh, little did they know that it was impossible uh, back, back then uh, without quantum mechanics, which had not been discovered. I remember feeling so frustrated when things did not work out or when some work led to the dead end. But Weinberg's lesson taught me to see those moments differently. It's learning what does not work, which is crucial to figuring out what does. So next time, if you're feeling stuck, remember this is part of the process. You're not failing, you're exploring. So please forgive yourself for wasting time. Lesson number four, learn the history of science. 
Finally, Weinberg emphasizes the importance of understanding scientific discovery. Why? There are two reasons. Number one, it protects you from oversimplified models of how science works. Number two, it makes your work feel more worthwhile. Weinberg beautifully states, as a scientist, you're probably not going to get rich. Your friends and relatives probably won't understand what you're doing. But you can get great satisfaction by recognizing that your work in science is a part of history. So here's your homework. Learn about the history of your field. Find out who were the pioneers in your field, what were the problems uh, they faced, and how did their work impact the world. I promise it will make those long hours in your lab or at your screen uh, feel much more meaningful. So there you have it, Weinberg's four golden lessons. First, you don't need to know everything. Dive in and learn as you go. Second, aim for the challenging unsolved problems. That's where the breakthroughs happen. Third, accept that time wasted is part of the process. Forgive yourself and keep exploring. Learn and appreciate the history of science. These lessons remind us that science is a deeply human endeavor. It's messy, it's uncertain, it's unpredictable, sometimes frustrating, but it's also creative exciting and profoundly important. I hope these lessons inspire you as much as they have inspired me. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share your comments uh, down below. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, you are part of something amazing. See you in the next video.